Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on combining ratios where the second and third ratios are subdivisions of each part of the first. Let's read the question. White shapes and black shapes are used in a game. Some of the shapes are circles and the rest are squares. The ratio of white shapes to black shapes is 4 to 3. The ratio of white circles to white squares is 1 to 3. The ratio of black circles to black squares is 1 to 2. Work out what fractions of all the shapes are squares. Now, this is a bit like the previous video I did on this with subdivisions. So we got a subdivision of the white shapes into white circles and white squares. But this question is a bit harder because we're also splitting the black shapes into a ratio, black circles, black squares as well. So we have a bit more work to do. Now, what I did in the previous video is to represent these ratios as fractions because it makes it easier to combine them together. And it does actually say we want to find what fraction of all the shapes are squares. Now, I do a little tree. So, of all your shapes, some of them are white shapes, some of them are black. So, we've got white and some of them are black. And if the ratio is 4 to 3, well, there's seven parts in total. Four of those parts are white, so four sevenths of the shapes are white, and three of those seven parts are black, so three sevenths of the shapes are black. Now let's use the tree to represent the subdivisions of, say, the white shapes into circles and squares. So of those white shapes, they're split into circles and squares. So let's do circles, squares. And of those four parts there, one of the four parts is white circles and three of the parts is squares. That's not to say that a quarter of all the shapes are circles, it's just saying that a quarter of the white shapes are circles. And we can do the same for black. So we're going to do circles and squares. I should have probably just drawn a circle and a square rather than writing the word, but never mind. Um, it's split into black circles to black squares, one to two. So black circles is one out of the three parts, because one plus two is three. And two parts out of the three are black squares, so that's two thirds. And now we've got everything we need. So we want to work out what fraction of all the shapes are squares. Well, the shapes are either black squares or they're white squares. So let's work out black squares, what fraction of the shapes are black squares, and what fraction of the shapes are white squares. And the total fraction will be the total proportion of our shapes, which are just squares. So black squares, well, black square, three sevenths, and of those black shapes, two thirds of squares. So we're saying of the three sevenths of the shapes, which are black, two thirds of those three sevenths are black squares. So two thirds of the three sevenths, and remember the word of, we can just do as times, we saw that in the previous video. So we just need to do two thirds times three sevenths, we just times along this kind of path. Uh, the three is gonna cancel, so it's just two sevenths. And we do the same for white squares. So white squares, white square, four sevenths times three quarters. Now those fours cancel, so it's just three over seven. So there we, we've, we've done it almost. We know that two sevenths of all the shapes are black squares and three sevenths of all the shapes are white squares. So in total, if we add those together, five sevenths of our shapes in total are squares. And that is the final answer.